Huh? Thank you, I'm recording. You wanna see the game she made? The scenery? Yeah, the, and you can like listen. Listen, here, put this on your head really quick. Oh, with the birds and the crickets and the... Right. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another new horse game. This is Horse Project. Today we'll be exploring the pre-alpha version 2, and I have a lot of info on this game. There's already been a few videos posted, and I have loved seeing all of the content on it. Horse Project was created by a single dev, Tatiana, or a cult pony. She has already done such a wonderful job, and I reached out to her, and I also joined the team. From experience with running my channel and many others with not a lot of help, I understand how much it can be to handle every aspect of your own business or project. I am excited to help in any way that I can. Right now, the game is in early stages of development, so the pre-alpha didn't have a ton of content in it, but it still had enough that made the game very entertaining as it is. After looking at the concept shown to me, I can say that there will be a lot of exciting things coming our way, and I think this could be another comfort horse game. I will definitely be sharing more in the future. I left all of the medias for the horse project in the description if you'd like to check it out or download the pre-alpha. It's free. If you like these types of videos, or would like to show your support, or may want to see future content about this game, make sure to subscribe and like. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing Horse Project. I was recommended this a couple of days ago. I got a message about some sort of like old project and then I got another message from the same person saying, oh my gosh, they just posted a video. They now have the pre-alpha out, you should go and play it. And I was like, maybe. I actually reached out to the developer last night or this morning i guess because i was up all night i've only had like three hours of sleep it's not a flex it's a struggle but we're not going to get into that right now i reached out to the developer and i said hey do you need any help i can help as much as possible because like i said in the intro this developer is doing everything themselves as liberating as that is and as independent as that sounds, a project like this and with a community growing so quick, it does catch up to you eventually. So I am now involved in the project. I am helping as much as possible with whatever needs to be done. Obviously, I'm not a developer, but I read the concept document. And I have a little bit of an idea of what we're going for here. And I just want to try the game. Why would I help with a project if I have no idea how to play the game? I've done my research. I'm ready to play the game. I'm here to play Orse Project because my webcam is cutting it off. I was debating not doing a webcam. I don't really like showing my face when I'm playing games because I have a really bad case of concentration face. It can get bad sometimes, but you know what? 2023 is the year for confidence. And I also put on makeup today and I don't wanna to have to take it off. So I'm gonna use it while it's on my face. You can already hear like the ambience in the background. Okay, so we have player controls. We love the WASD. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Um, e and Iraq slash dismount horses, horse controls. I'm gonna forget all of this. Look, I'm looking at the horse controls right now and I guarantee you I will forget every single one of these controls. Okay, alt is lateral movement. Space is manual jump. Horse can jump automatically if your stride is correct. I haven't really watched many videos on this project. I tried to watch one last night, but like I said, I've been having really bad sleep issues. I don't want to depress anybody and go into it, but I can't sleep and watching videos makes me like really uncomfortable for some reason because my body's like trying to get comfortable, but I can't and it just, it sucks. You're telling me this game already has photo mode. This game is already like above pretty much every other already developed horse game. Even the horse games we've been playing for years don't even have photo mode like this. Photo mode that you can like pan out with. Look at that. That is so cute. Can we like create our character or are we just a guy? I mean, I don't mind being a man. The model kind of looks like phasmophobia. So let's go in here and see. Okay, I just got slammed into the door. Horse creator. Do I want a stallion or do I want a mare? You know what? I kind of been into mares in games recently. On RDR2, all of my most recent horses are mares. I don't know why. IRL mares scare me. 
I know that there's a lot of sweet mares IRL, like not all mares are rude, but I think we should make pumpkin in this game. Is pumpkin gonna be a brat in this game too? Who knows? So we have the sport horse, the thoroughbred, the Jutland, the Arabian, and the Andalusian, and the Connemara. So they all have like their max heights they can go for. I kind of want a crossed sport horse and I want a big old horse. Temperament. Bombastic side eye. If we're creating pumpkin, we kind of have to like be realistic here. We do have a good bit of color options. Ooh, the gray is super pretty. Enable breed limits. Okay, let's spawn this horse. Hello. Pat. I want to pat this horse. Ah, oh, yes. Good horse. It's just so funny to me. Anyways, who is making all this noise over here? Oh, you're just scratching. Okay. I was like, is some horse glitched? Over here, you can design a course. I know that because I watched a video on it. So you have the dressage arena. You have jumping course one and jumping course two. Jumping course one is more like compact and jumping course two is more spread out. I personally like the jumping courses that are spread out because this, that scares me. Oh, look at how tall this horse is. We love the tall horses. Look at her. She's like way above the fence too. Okay, so here's the pasture. You know how I can already tell I'm gonna love this game? The graphics. Look at the graphics. I can already tell y'all the RRP on this game is gonna be immaculate. Huh? Thank you, I'm recording. You wanna see the game she made? The scenery? Yeah, the, and you can like listen. Listen, here, put this on your head really quick. Oh, with the birds and the crickets and the... Right. It's in pre-alpha, which means it's not even in beta yet. Wow, look at the mountains. Yeah. Sorry, my mom came in and I wanted to show her the game. She's always kind of interested in the games I play, and she's always interested in my YouTube channel, so I thought I would just show her really quick. And you know what? She was genuinely impressed. Oh, the do you guys see the little tongue? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't really know how to use the gates right now, so we're gonna try. We have the extended walk. You can already see there's a lot of progression with the front legs as well as the back legs because the front legs already cross, but it would be cool to see more of like a push off of the back legs. Let me see what it looks like with like an actual gait. Okay. There's not a ton of movement from the back legs to like push the horse over. They get as close as possible. The transition from the lateral to just the regular, like it's so smooth. Okay, we got the extended trot. Very cool looking. Oh gosh, narrowly dodged that. All right, now let's actually try some jumps. Okay, we got an extended canter going. Now, it said that the horses will jump automatically. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna press spacebar. Why did that scare me? I jumped a little bit. Okay. Trot plus control. Oh my gosh. We got the pee off, the lead. We got the passage. Okay, change lead. Oh, look at that lead change. Do you guys see how smooth the lead change is? Like that. Did you guys see that? Probably not. That was a really bad angle, but it says space, manual jump. Horses can jump automatically if your stride is correct. Okay, so we have to get the correct stride. Girlfriends, no, what you need to do is lower the jump height, please. Oh my gosh, why does that scare me every time? See the hoof in the top left? That's the stride point. This is really realistic because I'm having trouble. Striding was something that I really struggled with IRL. Please don't break. Please don't break. Every time the poles break, it actually genuinely makes me jump, even though I'm expecting it because it's so loud. Wait, can this horse not jump high enough? Let me try changing the size of the jumps. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the issue. Am I the problem? Am I the drama? All right, pumpkin. Let's try again, baby girl. Mama, mama, sorry. <gasps> I did it. Okay, so it was the size of the jumps.
I personally think she was on the correct stride on that one. Okay, striding was correct. Not correct. I love how the horse just karate chops the jumps. It's so funny to me. That one was correct. Two, three, four. I think that's its way of telling me that the striding was not correct. That too. That too. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, pumpkin. There we go. I got one, guys. One jump. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe I'm just not built for pixelated jumps. Maybe this is my sign to just uninstall this game already. I'm kidding. I love this game so far. I'm gonna go try some of the other horses though. All right, let's lead pumpkin. Oh, 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 way. Oh, yep, okay. Can I trot the horse? Look at her. She's doing her little dancey dance. You got your hay net. Do you have any food in here? You got any snacks? Got games on your phone? Oh, look at your little yawn. Let's go make a gray because I want to look at the gray horse. This room looks so ominous though with the lighting. I want a thoroughbred. I want a tall thoroughbred. And I want a dapple gray. Oh, wait. Listen, the rose gray looks so good. The blue roan kind of looks like a uh, gooseberry. I know gooseberry is a grulo, but still, I'm gonna definitely have to use that. Enter any name. Um, let me look around my desk. I have a Baja Blast from Taco Bell. A Baja ha, ha Blast. I'm about to go down to Taco Bell and give me a Baja Blast. So we're gonna we're gonna name him Baja Blast. Wait, Baja, slow down. Baja ha ha. I'm sorry. It is so addicting to say. I was about to say I better be on stride for that one. I counted those. Need to go a little bit quicker. There we go. Okay. Those poles just got sent to hell or something. Ah, oh, beautiful jumps. I love the tail swish. Alt. That one was good. I want to see if I can get a photo. Not of that. <laughs> Look at that. Like, imagine if every game we played, no matter if it's horse or not, has like a photo mode where you can just take like aesthetic pictures like this. I'm going to try to jump over the fence. Let's go. What a pro. Jumped over the arena fence. What a true jumper. I guess I glitched the game into like keeping the same gait. Like, look at the trees swaying and the plants. Now, how far can I go back? I'm trying to like smoothly transition with my gates, but it's very difficult <laughs> at times. Let's go Baja Blast. Oh, characters tweaking a little bit. Look up here. I love that we can go this far back into the world. I feel like it's about to cut me off somewhere. All we need is one log. I'm on the lookout for one log. Just one, just one log. Okay, I think I found out how to transition gates a little bit easier. I'm learning and it's actually a really fun game. A lot of times with games, we have really basic controls and I like having to control the horse and like the, the rider's point of view. You know, laterals in the middle of the woods. Life is great. All right, I wanna go try out a few more of the horses. I wanna go try dressage because I haven't done the dressage yet and it would be really cool to do the pee off and the passage because I saw the passage for a split second. How far are we from the property? I don't know how I glitched like the gates and the speed. I was about to say, I was like, it was just driving the horse for me, let's go. This gives me like late fall vibes because of the leaves falling off the tree and like the pine. Okay, we're gonna try to jump the fence again. Let's go, what a pro jumper. Can we get this one too? Nice. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> At least that one I got, you know? I think they can just like AFK, right? Oh, look at that confirmation. That confirmation is already beautiful. Do I wanna ride the pony? I wanna ride the pony. Okay, you are a Connemara, a Bay Dunn. We're gonna lead you out of the stall. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
what did what just happened? Okay, I guess we're mounting in the stall. Oh, guys, I found out how to do first person point of view. You just mesh into the stall, you know? This horse won't go up like past an extended walk. I don't know what's going on. If it's a glitch or this horse just does not like me. Go up. Go up a gate. You can see me giving her a little nudge. Oh, there we go. She does not want to canter. There we go. All she needed was some good old encouragement. Threats. No, I'm kidding. Okay, we have the extended trot. We have the passage. Can we do like a lateral with the passage? We can do a lateral with the passage. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is what Arthur looks like on a Morgan on RDR2. This is how ridiculous it looks because this horse looks so small compared to this guy player. Giving it the little tap, tap, tap. Time to go up a gate. For me, please. All right, this horse doesn't like me. I, I just, I can read the room. I can read the arena. You know what? Total pony attitude, to be honest. She's like, ooh, where are we going? We're going back to my stall? No, you're gonna go sit next to the intimidating tall thoroughbred horse. Wait. Oh gosh, this backfired. Never mind, we're good, bye. <laughs> Peace out. I think this is the Jetland right here, yeah. This is Ruby. She is a flaxen chestnut. She has good endurance, but her other stats are kind of lacking and her temperament, her temperament is kind of scary to me. I feel like this is gonna be worse than mystery. Okay. She's doing really good so far. Can you go up a gate? There we go. Oh God. Oopsies. Okay, let's see, let's see that. Let's see that passage. Doing a pee off. And then the passage. I love when like draft horses or chonky breeds do dressage because it's like chonks. Look at the chonk move. Oh, I love it. The extended trot also looks really nice on this horse. I wanna see if I can fix my turning because I feel like my turning is just not it. We're gonna turn a little bit earlier to see if that helps. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> not really. I'll get the hang of it eventually. There we go. Who is this right here? Okay, well, whoever it was, I just monkeyed onto him. Her, queen. Uh, I apologize, queen, for that behavior. You know, with like the whole like queen trend that's going on right now, you got this queen. Like you're so right, queen. Like that sort of thing. It's just kind of funny how that matches up. Can I, can I just be let out? Okay, well, I just got my teeth flashed at me. I want to see her stats. Ooh, queen's stats are good. We're going to go and try a course with queen. I don't know. This may be too high of a height for this horse. I'm not sure. We're gonna go down to 80 and I'm gonna see what Queen thinks of it. Queen is a tall horse. I'm very surprised that Queen doesn't wanna jump this. I think next video, I wanna make like a star jumping horse. That's gonna be my, my goal. Let's go Queen. Pop off Queen. Oh my gosh. Maybe Queen can be my star jumping horse. Is this one gonna make it? No, I was about to say, this does not look like it's about to make it. So does that mean I need to like slow down in between jumps? Can like pro equestrians give me tips in this video, please? Like I will take the constructive criticism. I will take it. I'll eat it right up. Even if it's like a pixelated game, I will still take the constructive, the constructive criticism because it's helping me become a better like pixelated rider, you know? Anyways, everybody, that is all on today's video of the horse project. I'm so happy that I was able to play this game and thank you to those who reached out and recommended it and I'm always happy to play new games. I'm really excited to be involved in the horse project project. 
See what I did there? I'm really excited to be involved in this and I'm excited to learn more about this game, the development, and also where the developer, where she plans to go with this. This does look like a passion project and I love passion projects, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this game. If you guys maybe want to suggest something for me to do, like for example, maybe try to make a jumper, a dressage horse, maybe a little bit of a racing horse. Now, Queen, Queen is a little bit of a racer. She is very fast. I do recommend that if you have a lower end PC to try running it on lower graphics. Currently, my graphics are all to epic, but I do recommend going to medium or even low if you are playing on a laptop or a computer that you don't think can run this game. This has a lot of configurable options for graphics. I could have been a female this entire time. I could have been a few. You know what? No. I embraced it. I embraced being a man. It was fun for a good uh, 45 minutes. I'm happy that there is a female character. I should have known that. I have seen people play with a female character, so that is my bad. But that's for the next video, I guess. Oh, look at Queen. Slay, Queen. Slay. Like I said, suggest if you want anything done, like maybe you want me to make your horse or a specific horse feel free to comment down below. I'd be happy to continue playing this game. Anyways, everyone, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream. All right, time to take thumbnail shots, my favorite part of the process. Mm -hmm.